Good morning, guys. So, okay, we just got another snowstorm yesterday, um, and it ended, like, early, early this morning, but, oh my goodness, like, I don't, you can't see because the windows are kind of foggy, but literally, literally, it, like, if you live in New England, you are struggling, and I feel you, like, it is crazy so I just actually it's kind of early now Alan had to work this morning so I went over to help him get his car out because literally he his car was like buried and he helped he always helps me and my mom shovel like he, he and I always shovel I just like stuttered hardcore but he and I always shovel so I always try to help him when his car is stuck because he has to park on the side road and his car was like buried but the point of my story here is um what is that we could not get out of the like little divot when he when we like cleaned it off and some nice people came over and helped him like not all people are evil because I often feel that people like don't ever help anymore and I'm all about like helping strangers like especially when they need help and it's clear they need help so I don't know moral of the story is be nice spread love like if you can help people help people like Alan and I are always trying to help people when you know we see them in, in need or anything like that you know if you see someone with a broken down car like and you are able to help them, like, help them. <laughs> if you see someone who, like, needs help with their groceries, help them. Like, I don't know, I just feel like there's not a lot of positivity left in the world. So it was just really refreshing to see someone, like, see a struggle and come over and help. And I don't think we could have gotten the car out without the guy because he was, like, a pro at it. He was, like, like, he was, like, pushing it with his hands. Oh, my God, I'm chewing gum probably really obnoxiously, but sorry. Sorry. But he was, like grabbing it with his hand and like hitting the gas and moving it like he got it out we could not have gotten that out by ourselves so anyway hopefully alan made it to work now and i am back home now but everything is all shoveled so oh my goodness i have a cold anyway so it's just i don't feel well at all but there was not there was so much snow like alan couldn't have done that by himself there is so much snow like i can't go on about this <laughs> and in a few days in two days we're getting another foot like, I literally, I, I don't even know. I don't even know how to comprehend that. It's just, it's too much. There's, it wouldn't be, I don't even mind snow or shoveling snow. The bottom line is, there's nowhere to put any of it. Okay, can you see that? Can you see how high up that goes? That's from the ground. You probably couldn't see that at all, could you? Because the window's kind of foggy. Hopefully you could see it. But literally the snow, like on the sidewalk, goes up to almost my head. I think I saw on Facebook the other day that um, the city I live in was one of like the snowiest cities or something. But anyway, I'm going to go inside and get comfortable and wake up and have some tea and decompress from all of this. <laughs> Alright guys, just finished getting ready. I filmed a get ready with me video for this look. I just did like a little smoky action with my Naked 2 palette, my favorite palette ever. Um, and I curled my hair with my new me curling wand. And yeah, so... I filmed the get ready with me for this look. If you are curious about it in the future, make sure you check it out. And I am actually going to film a, not get ready with me, um, a Q&A video. And I post it on my Instagram for people to ask me questions there. If you are curious in participating in my Q&A videos, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I always post there, like, what questions, so everybody can comment their questions there. So definitely make sure you do that because I love doing Q&A videos. It's been kind of a while actually and so it's about time. Anyway, I was just cleaning up my makeup but I'm so excited because I think my new makeup organizer is going to come today, I hope. Um, I ordered it on eBay just like a few days ago and I got a note on my door saying that I wasn't there to sign for it so um, I have to wait for them to come back for it and I was so sad because I'm so ready. Oh god, I can't wait to organize my makeup. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll definitely make a video that day because that's just going to be a joy I want to share with all of you. So I got so many questions so far on the Q&A um, on Instagram. Like, I think 50 comments so far and it's only been like an hour. So I obviously can't answer all of them, but I'm going to do my best to answer similar questions so that everybody can kind of get their answers answers for their questions so anyway I am gonna go and get on that and then I think I also want to put some clothes for sale on Vinted today and um, I'll let you guys know about that because I have a lot of clothes that I want to sell and yeah anyway guys I will check back in later all right guys so I'm gonna head out to Walmart now and run my errands 
Um, check out this burn mark though. Anyway, so I want to show you guys my so outfit. I'm keeping it kind of casual today with my denim shirt from Fashion to Figure, which is in my Fashion to Figure lookbook, if you want to see it there. Um, just some leggings from Target. If you guys need really good opaque leggings where you literally cannot see through them at all, get to the ones in the activewear section from Champion at Target. They're like for working out and they're so opaque, it's amazing. And I'm wearing my combat boots from Target with some like little socks coming out of them. And then my Michael Kors watch. And of course my necklace from Lily, which I wear almost every day. And yeah, I am just gonna head out now, run my errands, and we'll see. Oh my God, I'm so sad guys, listen. I wore my new Torrid shoes, which are freaking gorgeous, to, um, not to Target, what was I saying, to Mac the other day when I was working. I only worked a four hour shift, <laughs> literally could not walk at the end of my shift. It was so painful. They're the worst shoes I've ever worn. I was in so much pain. Um, my toe, I, I don't, they were my normal size, but my toe was banging on the end. And like, then my foot was going numb and like, I had shooting pains in my ankles. It was terrible, so. I'm really sad because they're so cute and I got lots of compliments on them, but they were really, really painful. So that's really sad, but anyway, what else? I don't know. We'll see you at Walmart. I'll take you guys with me, so. All right, guys, I'm at Walmart and I'm so excited because I found more of my translucent powder, my favorite. Um, I haven't seen it at drugstores or anywhere in a while, so I'm so excited. Um, yeah. This is the naturally neutral one. It's the only one they had, but it's just, it looks the same as my last one. So I'm so excited. And I was looking at acne cream because I, I always get pimple cream, but I'm trying a different one now. It's the acne spot corrector and it's also supposed to fade dark marks. So I don't know, it's the Dr. Lynn skincare. So we'll see. And I'm just picking up some Visine for my contacts because my eyes get really painful throughout the day. So I'm just gonna poke around. It's seriously underrated though guys if you need like workout gear they have so much and it's so cheap like a sports bra which i need is only ten dollars like hi victoria's secret bye how cute this shirt is it's ten dollars and look at this skirt twelve dollars seriously guys don't be scared of cheap clothing so i'm like in heaven right now i should probably stop walmart is i feel like it's so loud like it's never like Target is this loud and I get that kids are loud but I just <laughs> it's like a Walmart thing unless it's just in my area but it's just weird because I feel like it's never never loud like this in Target or wherever I don't know just me but anyway I'm looking at um, Valentine's Day stuff for my mom and for Alan so I'm gonna get them some little things for Valentine's Day now let's see what I can find so I decided to get Alan a pair of slippers for Valentine's Day because his feet are always cold and he doesn't have slippers. So I got him these. Slippers, yay. And look at this cute bag. They have so much Valentine's Day stuff. And I'm gonna print out a picture of me and Alan for his, um, his house because uh, he already got me one for our anniversary so I wanted to get him one. And then I'm gonna print a new one of me and my mom for her too. So that'll be cute. Now I gotta go find a frame. And then I gotta get a shovel because we have awful shovels and we're getting more snow and I can't. So I'm gonna find some more shovels now and some picture frames. I spent $100 at Walmart in an hour. I don't know. And I'm slightly disgusted with myself. Um, I needed a lot of stuff though. All that's, all those little things that like you need in your house and they add up so quickly. Ugh, oh, I, I hate spending money. I try really hard to be frugal, especially lately. Like, I try really, really hard, but money is so annoying. But I need to stay frugal, stay money conscious. But um, anyway, at least I'm loaded up on all the things that I needed. So uh, I did just get a confirmation email that my package um, arrived at my house, which I might have already told you about. I don't know if I did, but anyway, I don't know if my pictures are ready at Walgreens yet for my mom and Alan, so I'll probably just go back there later. I'm gonna go home now, put all my crap away that I just bought, and set up my makeup organizer, yay! So I'll see you guys at home, yay! So I just got home and took my package in. Look at how big it is. <laughs> like, look at me next to it. So, I'm gonna do a separate video. Oh, that one off. <laughs> I'm gonna do a separate video on 
unboxing, not unboxing, but like setting up the package and like setting up my makeup with it and stuff. But I wanted to like open it with you guys. So let's see, this baby is huge. OMG, OMG, where can I set you guys? In my plant, you're in my plant right now. That's plant grass. Okay, does that work? Not really. Okay. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate placements. Oh my God. This is massive. Okay, so there's another box in this box. Okay. It makes me feel a little better knowing it's not that big. <laughs> Oh my God, I might need another person for this. This might have to wait until later. Unless I, I don't want to rip this box. This is a great box to have. Oh, you can do this. Kitty, kitty, I need help. Oh wait, why don't I just turn the box upside down? Why am I, oh my God, why am I so stupid? All right, now we'll flip this back over take off this bubble wrap, which is going to be so fun. Bubble wrap. Yeah, I love bubble wrap. All right. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Holy crap. It's huge and beautiful. Right. Be super careful with this because this one's expensive, guys, and I want it to work well. They did an excellent job packaging this. Oh my god. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. My mom just texted me and said, OMG, guess who's pregnant? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Guys, it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So I got this on eBay after I saw someone on YouTube had it because I needed more makeup storage. It was a little pricey. It was $178, but I mean, it's bigger, I think, than a Cosmo Cube, and those are more than that, so... Let's see. Got all the plastic wrap off. It is freaking beautiful. I got the one, two, three, four, five drawer with an open lid on the top. And then it has four dividers in here. If you can kind of see those, which are removable. Oh my God. You can fit so much stuff in here. And I like how the bottom drawer is kind of a lot deeper so you can fit palettes. Oh my God. It's beautiful and amazing. I'm so excited. Like, look at it compared to my foot. It's like two feet two of my feet. So it's got so much storage. Oh, I'm so excited. Ugh. Oh my God. My mom just texted me who's pregnant. It's not someone famous. It's someone I know. Whoa, I'm so tired now. <laughs> Too much excitement. Who loves laying on floors? I love laying on floors. <laughs> These vlogs get way too real, guys. Oh, gotta get up. All right. I have an insane amount. Oh, I just stepped on bubble wrap. That was fun. Look at all that bubble wrap I have to play with. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. I love bubble wrap. Um, anywho, whew, that's exciting. I'm gonna make a separate video on the makeup or organization, like I said. So stay tuned for Zots. <sighs> and time to cook me some lunch. All right, guys, I just ate lunch and it's the afternoon now. I've got some more stuff to do edit some videos and I'm not sure what else yet but I'm gonna wrap up this vlog because um, I think the rest of the day is gonna be really like not exciting and this vlog's already probably really long after all the excitement at Walmart <laughs> so um, this might not actually this won't be up before Valentine's Day because I have a lot of Valentine's Day videos going up this week right now um, but if you are watching this I hope you had a great Valentine's Day and um, 
yeah i'm not really sure where i was going with that i just hope you had a good valentine's day if you didn't have one i'm your valentine i love you and i'll see you next time bye